Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the God Please Clean My Room Project's Daily Wash. Today's topic is a good day to die. Our scripture reference will be coming from John, the 15th chapter, the fifth verse, which reads, I am the vine. You are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Hallelujah. A good day to die. Now, before you freak out, I'm not telling you to go kill yourself. I'm telling you to die to your sins and die to your flesh. Um, if some of you are familiar with gospel hip-hop music, this is actually a song title um, that you may want to check out for yourself called A Good Day to Die. And essentially, there are many of us who've been living for someone other than our only risen Savior, Jesus Christ. And you've become very world-like. You've gotten some things attached to you that should not be on you because you belong to the King. Amen? You were bought with a price. He was sacrificed so that you might live. And it, today is a good day to die to your sins, to your flesh. And remember that a daily renewal is very important. It's key so that you can press on towards the mark that God has placed in front of you. The Lord loves you. He desires to use you to accomplish his great will on this earth. And it's time that you knew that. It's time for you to stop living with this double standard. For we know that in the Bible... The Lord tells us that lukewarm is something terrible and detestable that he wants to spit out of his mouth. And I don't know about you, but I don't want the Lord to want to spit me out. I want to remain in him. I want to be attached to the vine, which is Christ. I want to bear much fruit. And as we realize apart from him, we can do nothing. Today is, in fact, a good day to die. Die to your sins. Die to your flesh. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this word. Thank you for reminding us every day that we have to live for you. We can't be distracted. We can't be blinded by the things of this world, Lord. Thank you for reminding us that life without you is as though we're on a cruise ship with no fun, meaning in a place that should be like paradise, yet we're missing out on all the things that you have for us, so we're not tapped into the source. Father God, we ask that whenever we get distracted or pull off course, that you will pull us right back, Lord. We ask that you forgive us of our sins today. We ask that you remind us that with Christ's strength, we can, in fact, do anything. And that it's not time for us to give up, but it's time for us to put on the new man, that which comes from only you, Lord. All these things we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Praise God. Have a great day.